Hey everyone, welcome back to another Transformers toy review. Today we're taking a look at a uh, well a set of figures from uh, Transformers uh, Cyberverse Adventures or Transformers Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures. I can't remember the show actually be called Transformers Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures. I know it was kind of Cyberverse where these guys kind of came in. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, kind of a, a multi-pack. I actually picked it up from... TK Maxx, so £10. The retail price of it apparently is £22. So it's quite expensive. There are quite basic figures. I think I've got the kind of original one of this, as well as the kind of uh, Titan to Return version as well. But I thought it was quite cool because it come with uh, another bunch of different ones. Uh, they're branded as Cybertronian villains, although I think in the show they weren't um, really on either side. I think they were kind of um i can't really remember i think they were kind of made to do kind of what things sort of against their will so i don't think they were particularly on one side or the other um so <laughs> it obviously says evil at the top here um so you get the pesticons and then repugnus is this one here um and it says it converts into three steps this one and two steps that one uh convert to activate his uh, gruesome chomp um, so that's pretty much it and you get some nice artwork on the side there which is quite cool it looks quite nice uh, what we'll do now is we're gonna open it up and uh, take a look at the figures all right so here they are out of the package first thing I want to show you is actually it comes with this kind of backdrop piece which I thought is pretty cool actually and I think it would look good in a IKEA type sort of detolf display. Really good idea, actually. The um, it's quite thin looking cardboard, but it's a really kind of colourful display. Um, I think the only thing is you would probably need to make sure it's something that kind of comes up to here. It might look a little bit weird if you then got blank space up above it. But um, yes, yeah, it's, it's a nice mini display anyway i thought i'd show you that and it is what you'd see on the show this is kind of the kind of environment that they were in and so it's kind of like i don't know kind of like a swamp kind of shadow i think i don't know if it was maybe it's ages ago since i watched the show whether it was kind of like supposed to be kind of like the sea of rust or that sort of area Anyway, I digress. So you get three of these little dudes, a blue one, a red one, and this kind of lime greeny one. And then you get um, this version of Repugnus, so it's kind of Decepticon version of him, um, which is obviously bigger than the rest. So in terms of like paint and things like that, not loads really. You get this quite nice... I have darker green paint on here with the Decepticon symbol. Looks like the eyes are painted white in there. And you get paint either side of the head. The hands are painted in here, which is then carried through to these kind of claws here as well. Uh, he does have uh, like a hole in there, so you could get him to hold a weapon from another figure, potentially. And in terms of articulation, you don't get loads. Um, so the head is just a solid piece, nothing either side, and it is kind of hollow on the back. The arms are on ball joints, so you do get articulation there. You just have to make sure that that doesn't, because you can kind of move out, because it's such a simple transformation, but move out like that, around here, and they're kind of hindered by this bit of the back here. And then this piece here is also on a ball peg so that can just rotate all the way around and obviously if you end up uh, pulling this off it's easy enough just to pop it back on and uh, yeah the legs you get kind of that which is to do the transformation and that's all you get they're solid but uh, it doesn't mean he stands up pretty well sorry there is a little ridge on here so unfortunately sometimes when i put things down i just catch it on the on the ridge it makes it fall back a little bit but um other than that it's all good 
Uh, I think that's my dog uh, barking at her shadow. Let's see what's going on. Right, back to it. Managed to get the dog to stop barking at uh, the reflection or something like that. Anyway, so we've gone through the articulation, the paint on this guy. Transformation is super simple. I did practice it before, but you basically just fold it over like this then bring the legs down and just these bits peg into there. And that's him done. And then you just kind of straighten out the arms however you want. I guess technically you're probably going to have them more like that, I guess. So you can't see the robot hands. You can more see this sort of kind of like beast mode hands. And on this one, you actually see more of the paint in this mode. So obviously you mentioned the paint on the kind of uh, kind of pincers. Uh, they are serrated around there. They don't move. The eyes are painted a nice green as well. And kind of like a gunmetal grey on the top here. And his teeth, I think, are painted white as well. And then he's got a little action with his like pincers and you pull this back and it just causes this bit here to move like that and that is him and that oh, that is him alongside the other little ones and these are even simple as transformed they look like super deformed ones basically you turn them around and they're already half transformed anyway and you just pull this leg bit towards you this bottom half so that does actually articulate round and you get some paint on here it's got like a Decepticon symbol cast in and you just fold that back like that the arms don't move unfortunately but uh, that's it so then you get um, some paint for the eyes and paint on the chest um, and some paint on these bits here so that's him in his little robot mode and same with this red one here. Again, it's quite nice little paint apps on them. So, you know, got the eyes are done, top of the head, mouth and the claws. Real simple. Turn it around. Push that bit up like that. Pull that bit down. And you've got paint on the chest and on the eyes. And the dog's still barking. And then you've got the dark blue one, all the same kind of paint apps, obviously just slightly different colors that are used on it. Um, feels quite smooth actually, it's got a nice feel to it. Transforming it, turning it around, pull this bit up and pull that bit down. And then you've got uh, yourself a little robot mode and they are all quite diddy. Um, I'm trying to see if I've got anything here to compare against. The only thing I've got is um, the steep cover figure here just as a bit of a comparison so you can see they're quite diddy they're kind of probably kind of micro master size in terms of height but uh, a good deal kind of wider and uh, this guy when he's transformed he's probably about the same size as a, a regular deluxe I would say so with deep cover being a deluxe oh he's a little bit shorter but you get the general idea and uh, you know it's it's okay for what it is as far as a kid's toy goes I think it's uh, they're pretty good fun actually and you know I can see children are you know uh, good fun with these and sort of playing around with them uh, they're, they're easy enough to flip from one mode to the other you know if you had a child that was having problems with this one you're certainly not going to have problems with these and I really like the way that you look, actually. Um, I can see, you know, I don't know why the dog's barking. There's nobody there. It, catch, it catches it. I, I don't know if you can hear it on camera or not. But um, she managed to catch a, a glimpse or reflection of herself in the, in the thing that kind of sets her off. But uh, I do quite like these. They do remind me of those little rubber versions of the characters but they are almost like super deformed ones where the the head and everything else is a little bit out of proportion 
I do quite like them and they're easy enough to transform back uh, yeah I think that's it and they'll stand up like that like that and then like so so easy enough um, and I guess you can kind of move the head around in, in this mode a little bit if you want to and you know they're quite a cool little display piece I think so there you are there's the three of them there and the bigger one there it's quite cool they're they're all in different colors as well so that is uh, Repugnus from the Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures series and um, the Cybertronian villains so that is Repugnus and the three little Pesticons there. So don't have any names, just Pesticons. That's it from me, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all those good things. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.